New World War. Revolutionary Methods for Political Control. Overview. In this book I'll be explaining a portion of a concealed system of control that exists in our society. To do this, I'll be providing evidence that some prominent groups, which are considered to be humanitarian in nature and which influence the direction our society, are involved in repugnant activities that are extremely destructive to humanity in their pursuit of power. A global revolution is now taking place to accomplish this, which these groups are controlling. It includes new technology and tactics that are being used on civilians such as psychological operations, as well as electromagnetic and biological weapons. This revolution also contains interconnected events including, a revolution in military affairs, scientific methods of controlling the public, documented governmental overthrows, an onslaught of repressive legislation aimed at reducing civil liberties, and an expansion of enemies which allows for the targeting of civilians. In some cases we'll see the same groups and individuals surfacing over and over again, involved in these events. At a glance, these activities, which have occurred over a period of decades, might seem to be unconnected. But upon closer inspection we'll find that they are part of the same process. When viewed within the larger context of this global revolution, itself, caused by a quest for power by a wealthy few, they begin to make sense. One of the biggest problems that most people have when they are told that this is occurring is understanding why. Why would a group spend an unlimited amount of resources, effort, and time, over a period of at least decades to consolidate control of the planet? Why would they be pursing a goal that most people would consider unnecessary? And, how could they have kept this concealed for so long? In order to understand this, as well as how a group can appear to be humanitarian but in fact be vigorously working in multiple areas of society for the single purpose of achieving control, it will be necessary to examine the subject of psychopathy. In the form of the pharmaceutical complex they influence the medical industry, the United States government, mainstream media, patient advocacy groups, and organized psychiatry. This has allowed them to disseminate massive propaganda to promote phony mental illnesses to provide complete cover for their policies. The institutions which influence the direction of our society, which they absolutely control, will regard books like this as conspiracy theories. We are told by them that such people don't exist such things don't exist in our world. However, I'll provide many examples, including historical facts, which will show that this view is illogical. In some cases I've used independent media sources. As an example, the online encyclopedia Wikipedia is considered by some to be less accurate than more traditional reference guides. However, I've personally found it to be mostly accurate on basic subjects. Wikipedia is therefore used as a supplemental source, typically for details and information that are already accepted by the general public. Other sources are derived from independent media, which most researchers who are aware of the current state of affairs would probably consider to be accurate. However, a majority of the evidence is from official sources. This is particularly the case with subject areas and information that are not generally known and may be difficult to believe. These sources consist of military and government articles, films, and congressional committee reports. They also include information from government advisory groups, books, mainstream media reports, expert testimonies, and speeches. For simplification purposes I'll use plain English in my writing. So my writing style will include violations of grammatical codes. For instance, I'll often write that an article or book mentioned something, when in reality it is the author who made the remark or, rather than use the terms he forward slash his or she forward slash hers I'll use the word there. One of my goals is to inform you that these wealthy interests exist and are obsessed with achieving power over the entire population of the planet. At times I'll be repeating the same message in order to get my point across. I could have approached writing this book from the perspective of separating my personal experience from my research. It could be argued that such an approach is necessary in order to maintain a strict or scientific outlook. I have chosen not to do that. It is my opinion that such experience brings a critical insight into a matter. It has been said that there is no substitute for direct experience. 
Therefore, in addition to the sourced evidence and regular footnotes, I'll include notes of my interpretation of my experience as a targeted individual. Rather than repeatedly use phrases such as I've noticed, in my experience, or it seems to me, in some instances I'll simply make my point. This is a subject that most people would probably rather avoid. Writing this book has at times resulted in feelings of fear and revulsion. But, beyond that, it has ultimately been inspiring, maybe even liberating. Some subjects are difficult to explain and understand, partially because words don't exist which adequately explain them, and our worldview does not contain concepts which allow us to easily interpret them. So I have done my best to explain something which has properties that exist beyond the bounds of language. Thank you. Mark M. Rich